okay so today we are going to know about what are the distresses in manual testing how to write the test cases and what is the flow which we have to follow while writing the test cases in the manual testing okay so the test case is a document uh, which has a set of test data which consists of the set data preconditions expected results and post conditions now what is test data Actually, the test data is nothing but the data which you are using for testing purpose uh, in any of the software. So that is called as test data. And uh, what is preconditions? Like the things which you should know before starting of your testing. That is called as preconditions. For example, if somebody has given me to test the login page. So in that case, what I'll do, I'll try to first log in uh, into my particular uh, system for which I wanted to test. So I need what I need preconditions means I need the login ID and the path. So that preconditions you should know. Then what should be the re expected result for your test case which you are going to run and what are the post conditions after testing. So all these things you should know while writing the test cases. Okay. <clears throat> So that is mean by test cases. So it consists of normally test data, precondition, expected results, and the post condition. Okay. Again, the test case acts as a starting point for the test execution. And after applying uh, the set of inputs, the application has to definitive outcome and leaves the system at the end point. That is known as execution of the post condition. Now, what are the things which are present in the document whenever you are creating any document for the testing purpose? First is test ID, test scenario. Each test, each test case should have unique identification that is called as test ID. Then test scenario. And the test scenario is nothing but uh, the scenario which uh, you need uh, to test. Then test, test description in detail. What is your test case says? Then test steps, which steps you are going to follow to execute that particular scenario. And what are the pay requirements of your testing? And then test data. Again, the next uh, some things which we require. So what are the test results, test parameters, actual results, and environmental information, and the comments. So these are the things which you need while doing the testing. So I'll tell you one by one which things are. OK, so we are going to know about all these things, like uh, what are the steps which we are going to follow in uh, test cases so the test id means uh, unique identification as i told you test scenario means uh, you are developing the various scenarios whenever uh, you, you want to test any product so uh, that scenarios are decided by the tester okay at each point so those scenarios then their description means what that scenario means and then test steps as i told you which steps you are following. For example, if you want to test the login page, then what you are doing, which steps you are doing. You uh, Like you are going to that particular website, that is the first step, then you are putting ID and password. Okay. Similarly, all the test cases you will write, or uh, test steps you will write there, and you will get the output. Okay. For example, I'll just show you how that document looks like. Okay. For example, this is one of the test suite which I have defined for checking the password format of the Amazon website. Okay, so I want that my password of Amazon website should con consist of minimum uh, six uh, elements that may be a number of the digits. Okay, so this is the format. Test suit description means the name of my test uh, suit, then uh, action, uh, which action I can take if uh, it is a high priority test, then test suit title. Then we have, I have created all these uh, various, uh, you can see here, columns. One is test case, then test case title, prerequisite, which are required, then test, uh, test script steps, expect, expected results, which results are to be expected, actual results, status, and the test uh, document, where we are keeping the screenshots. Now you can see here, this is a test case. So here, I have given the unique identification that is unique numbers to every test case. So there are four test cases which I have written over there. Then after that test case title, now these are the scenarios, like which scenarios I want to test. Then what should be my prerequisites? Like a uh, user should have all the uh, login ID and password details. Then test uh, script steps. These are the steps for this first test case, okay? You can see here, this is the first test, uh, test case steps. 
then uh, next i have added as expected results so what after every step after execution of every step which results i am expecting or i should get so that points i have added that steps i have added then if my software is performing properly then uh, i am i write in the actual results that uh, working as expected and the status is passed okay for example you can see here this is the first test case which i have written if the user is entering um, the website the system should open it if any website for example now i am checking for the amazon so whenever user is entering the url the website should get opened okay so this is one uh, test case where uh, for example here i am considering suppose uh, any website uh, we will take as um, amazon or any website okay so we have to check actually by logging in and logging by doing actual things over here and then we will write those steps which steps i have followed there okay then for example we will create one test suite now for the amazon so what what should be the scenario if i want to check the login page or sign in page of the uh, amazon so that time uh, the first scenario i will check right uh, that is uh, we check whether user is able to this is the first uh, first scenario is able to log in with id and password having and password and password having six elements okay so i will check this first scenario then second scenario i will check like verify or to check that whether if verify that if user is entering id and password of less than uh, six elements then what uh, what should be the output then user then that time user should get the message as password is not correct or incorrect you can say okay so this results you should get or it should not log in your system should not log in third scenario verify that if user is entering password of length of length more than five more than six elements not five six elements okay then my system then system should be logged why because we have given this scenario as a uh, minimum requirement of the password is given in the uh, title but maximum requirement is not mentioned actually so that's why if a user is entering the password of uh, size more than six uh, elements then it should get logged in okay now the fourth scenario we can add as a negative testing so these three are the uh, scenarios where we are entering id and password both if user tries if user you can try to enter the password of six element of six elements and only password we can say here only password we trying to uh, enter okay only password then system should not uh, even if it is entering six digit password six element as password system should not get logged in because we are not uh, user is not entering id okay so this is one of the scenario then they, like that we can add the scenarios in this uh, test cases space so here test case title will be these all whatever i have written for the uh, amazon website now what will be the steps for this first uh, scenario okay i'll check open it okay so this is the first scenario so i'll just tell you what are the uh, various uh, steps which you are going to follow for the first scenario okay so this is my first scenario which i'm going to test now okay so go to amazon website this is the first step okay first step i'll write there then user is able to log in okay and i'll put uh, the exact id and the password okay here where is my login page 
okay so again go to this website you will find out a login page i think i have already okay here it is sign in so just i'll click here i'll put my mobile number so i'll write all these steps okay here then continue this is my id and my password suppose i'm writing some password which is uh, matching to my criteria okay yeah now i have entered the wrong password then system is giving uh, such a result but if i'm trying uh, to enter the correct password which is matching here in my criteria so your system should get logged in so these are the steps which i am following so when i am entering the wrong password like this then my system should not get logged in should give a result as there was a problem so i'll write that results in the expected results okay similarly i will test all these criteria for any website so this is one document which we are we are going to prepare for the test cases now whenever we are performing these operations we have to store one uh, uh, screenshots of the test cases so how to store that test results for example i'll show you how to store the test results so this is how this is the first test case okay so user should be able to uh, accept uh, the login so i have just added the screenshots you can see first screenshot uh, uh, is added uh, like in the steps and at last whether user is able to log in or not so here how to take the screenshot you you might be having snipping tool with you so you can take every test case screenshot as per requirement of your company if they want stepwise screenshot you can take if they want this last screenshot you can take it okay once you will take this screenshot uh, you have to highlight the issue like if you are facing any issue you can highlight it over here with this uh, you can see here there is highlighter or there are various colors pane so you can highlight it with any of the pane over here which are given okay right so and you have to copy it and just you have to create normally a document here uh, in your drive in, uh, suppose you are working with any of the company they are providing they are sharing one drive with you so what you have to do you have to just create a uh, one uh, document uh, like this this is a text document word document we can say and you have to paste with the number of the uh, this test case now this is a screenshot of test case 1 like that test case 2 so in this way you can add the screenshots with the steps or at last steps also you can add depending on the requirement of company you can change the screenshots Okay, so these two are very important documents which every tester has to prepare while doing the manual testing. Once the testing is completed, and then uh, he has to inform to the BA or the project manager that he has completed the testing. And after that, uh, user acceptance testing will start. But if user is finding out any defect in any of the uh, case or any of the scenario, then they will create one tab over here as a defect in the same document. And uh, he will add serial number, defect description, assign to, and status. Now you can see this is one uh, defect. Suppose I found if user is entering six digit password, still system is not logged in. Sometimes such a defects are coming. Now I will assign this particular defect to any developer. You can add the developer name here and the status. Still developer is not closing that defect. This status is always open. Okay, you have to write it open. And you have to add the screenshot of uh, like before uh, resolution of defect and after resolution of defect. So here it is, I have added the frequency screenshot of before resolution and getting the problem in the login. Once the developer will resolve that defect, this will be closed. This status will be closed and you will add here the status. Uh, that is a screenshot of resolve, resolved defect. Okay. Similarly, once you will done uh, or uh, that developer will resolve all the def defects, then uh, you have to, uh, at last, you have to create one tab which is called as test readiness. Means all the test cases are passed for this particular story or requirement. So this was my requirement. So you will write the status as a pass. But before writing the status as a pass, you have to make sure that all the defects are closed over here by the developer. Okay, then you have to send a mail to a project manager, developer, tester, uh, all the tester team members and uh, the client or user who is going to uh, test, uh, retest uh, the things which you have tested. Okay, so this is how the process of testing going on whenever any requirement or any new requirement is coming. So the tester has to follow all the steps uh, while completing the testing. Okay, so...
Next is the very important point that is what are the types of testing. Okay, while following all these steps, uh, there are various types of testing you might be knowing. First is the unit testing. As the name suggested here, the unit testing is nothing but whenever developer is developing an individual module. Okay, so and that at that time on that individual module, a testing will be carried out. The steps which I have told you right now, so those steps uh, the tester will do, and developer will do also do the unit testing at his size before deploying the product to the testing environment. Okay, so that is called as unit testing actually. So which is performed on only a single module. Now what is the um, uh, actually advantages, what are the advantages of this unit testing? The first advantage is it reduces the defect in newly developed features or reduces the bugs when changing uh, the functionality. Means as we are adding the new model, the functionality of that particular product will get changed in some amount. So the unit testing helps to reduce the defects or issues whenever, even if you are adding the new functionalities, okay? Then also it reduces the cost of testing as the defects are captured in very early stage because every time whenever tester has started the testing, he will notify if any defect he will found, he will notify that defect to the developer. And that's why it is given like that. Uh, it reduces the cost. Okay, it improves the design and allows better uh, refactorization of the code. Okay. So that is one of the advantage that it improves the design of your particular product if you are adding any new model. Okay. <clears throat> and makes the uh, code better. Even if any defect found, the developer will try to resolve that defect by making or refactoring of the code. Okay. Then a unit test when integrated with build, it gives the quality uh, to the build as well. Okay. So this is the cycle. As I told you, for every uh, types, we have a cycle of unit testing. First of all, uh, the first thing is that code review uh, of the uh, developer then that is called as unit testing at the developer side then check a code into the repository whatever code they have uh, created so check in and check out of that particular code then uh, if there is any defect occurring then uh, they have to make any uh, if any changes are required then that changes will be done in the unit testing by the developer so all these phases like code review to make changes this is done by this unit testing done by the at the developer end then after re, uh, doing all the changes which are required developer will deploy that particular uh, module to the tester as tester will start execution of the unit test okay and then I means he will try to uh, test again in the, the that particular module and if any defect is fi finding out then again he will send that defect to the developer and developer will start again to do the uh, reviewing the code. So in this way, this cycle is continuously followed till complete all the defects are not getting resolved. Okay. So this is one of the example. You can see oh, what is the difference in between these two uh, codes. Here, uh, it is a function of addition, but here they have added that developer has added X into Y, <coughs> which is of no use. Again, therefore, it is called as dead code. We don't want to do the function of multiplication till the, it is added by the developer. So this is the uh, dead code. This is called as dead code. Again, um, you can see here, here after completion of addition operation by calling the function of add, uh, still developer has added this multiplication syntax, which is of no use. Okay. So that is called as unreachable code. Okay. So such a types of things are resolved in, in the uh, unit testing. Okay, so this is one of the very important type of testing, uh, which is done at the developer level also and at the uh, uh, tester level also. Okay. <clears throat>